Today, I'll show you Mei Hu, a Thai comedy film. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. The film begins with a character named Pong explaining there is no such thing as social equity in this world, because everything is classified into social categories. In his school, he divides the students into six categories. Average students, bullies, nerds, athletes, hotties, and team captains. The team captains are the most popular ones. A guy named Fame is the most handsome and hot of all on the team. He's every girl's crush because he's the best at everything. Pong is one of the average students who are labeled as invisible and are bullied. Pong has a crush on his classmate Mink Wakanda, the next president of the gold team. He looks at Mink from afar every day and draws pictures of her in a sketchbook. Pong also animates himself as a hero in his sketchbook and is pleased with the results. Pong wakes up late the following day and rushes to school. However, he manages to submit his assignment on time given to him. Pong submits his sketchbook rather than his assignment in a rush. When he realizes what he's done, it's too late. He rushes into the classroom and discovers all of the students, including Mink, are looking at his sketchbook. In his sketchbook, Pong has created a hypothetical storyline in which Mink and Pong are incredibly close. Mink hurls his sketchbook at Pong as soon as he enters the classroom. He then flees and seeks a place of safety in the storeroom. And in the meantime, he receives a phone call from his friend, Pira, who informs him that everyone has seen his sketchbook. Pira also reveals that a girl named Mei showed Mink his sketchbook. After learning this, Pong approaches Mei and inquires why she showed his sketchbook to Mink. Mei responds that she noticed Mink's name in it, and as a result, she gave it to her. Pong is enraged at her, so he holds her hand in rage. But an electric shock emerges from Mei's body and throws Pong away. Soon after, Mei flees, but she drops Fame's picture, implying that she, too, has a crush on Fame. Pong returns home and considers how Mei's body emitted an electric current. He then creates an animated story about her and distributes it throughout the school. Mei is taken aback when she sees it, so she goes to Pong, who is making more copies of it. Mei apologizes to Pong and requests that he stop, but Pong demands that she hand over the taser with which she electrocutes him. Mei tries to flee, but Pong, unaware of the truth, grabs her, which gives him another electric shock. Mei is upset, so she tells him that he can give the copies to whoever he wants because she is leaving the school. Her father inquires as to whether she wishes to change schools. The film cuts to a flashback in which the doctor tells Mei that if her heart rate rises, Mei will produce an electric charge. Mei generates an electric current whenever she is excited or scared. So one day, her father gives her a heart rate measuring watch and tells her that it'll beep when her heart rate is at its peak. Despite this, she has changed schools several times. Back at school, Mei is about to leave when she notices Pong collecting and burning all of Mei's sketches. When Mei notices this, she approaches Pong and inquires why he burns it. Pong responds that he does not want anyone to leave the school because of him and will keep it a secret. At the same time, fire accidentally catches up and Mei quickly extinguishes the fire with a fire extinguisher. Then she reveals her watch, claiming it warns her when she's electrically charged. Later, Mei watches Fame play football. The ball then moves towards Mei a few moments later. Fame then approaches her for the ball, and he also invites her to join his relay team. But Mei's heart rate rises, and she flees. On the other hand, Fame follows her, and at one point, she yells at him to leave her alone. Fame then walks away, telling her to meet with him if she changes her mind. On the other hand, Pong meets Mink in the medical room with some food, but Mink is angry and throws the food away. After that, he goes to Mei and asks her to electrocute him. He collapses unconscious as soon as Mei electrocutes him. Pong regains consciousness after a while and dines with Mei and her family. While washing the dishes, Mei confides in Pong that Fame asked her to join his relay team. Pong, who was listening, tells her that there might be something between Mei and Fame, causing Mei to be excited and produce current. The next day, Pong forces Mei to speak with Fame. Fame then takes Mei to the ground to practice the relay race. Because of her problem, 
She requests that fame send her at the end. Mink's team, on the other hand, has fewer members, and as a result, Mink appears upset. When Pong notices it, he goes to the classroom to summon the students. However, the students in that section are the top scorers who aspire to be doctors in the future. Pong tries to persuade them to join cheerleading, but they refuse. Claiming it's a waste of time, Pong then comes up with a plan to finish the students' drawing homework so that they can go to cheer practice. Pong takes Mei to his house to assist him in completing the work. Mei notices the sketchbooks at home and suggests he shows them to Mink. The next day, Pong is also made to do other tasks by the top students, such as cleaning and completing other assignments. Mei, on the other hand, assists Pong in all of these. The toppers join Mink's team in the qualification match, making Mink happy. Mei's heart rate rises during the race as she sees fame approaching. Mei doesn't want fame to be electrocuted, so she catches the baton after letting it fall. Their team wins the race, but Mei suffers an injury. Fame approaches Mei after winning the race to congratulate her, but she flees because her heart rate is racing so fast. Pong approaches Mei as she sits alone in the locker room. Mei hugs Pong as soon as she sees him, overjoyed at winning the race. As a result, Pong is taken aback. The next day, Mei calls Pong and informs him that Fame has asked her to accompany him to practice. Mei is both nervous and excited to go out to Fame, so she inquires whether she looks ugly while running. Pong is joking when he says yes. Pong and Mei's friendship appears to be growing stronger. Pong then returns home, repeating the same sentence. I like Mink, but he thinks about Mei. The next day, Mei and Fame go to running practice. Fame notices Mei watch and wants to try it on but he inadvertently breaks it. Fame apologizes and assures her that he will get a new one. On the other hand, Pong asks one of the students to give Mink his sketchbooks. She thanks Pong for it, after looking through all of his sketchbooks, but she's clear that she isn't the Mink from his animations. Following that, the bullies mock Pong and paint his face. In the next scene, Fame and Mei are on the ground when it begins to rain. Fame is nervously confessing his feelings for Mei. Mei is also excited which causes her heart rate to rise. Fame is electrocuted shortly after as they stand close together in rainwater. Following this, Mei flees, and Pong notices her fleeing. Pong also follows Mei to her house. Mei is dissatisfied with herself and shuts herself away in her room. Pong requests that she open the door, but she refuses. Pong then begins to draw several sketches with animations to console Mei. Pong's drawings suggest that there's nothing wrong with being unique. After a while, Mei opens the door, and Pong tells her that if Fame truly loves her, he'll find a way to be with her, just like he did. The next day, Mink takes Mei with her, asking for assistance, but Mink locks Mei inside the cage, where a gang of rude girls gangs up on her. They're all telling Mei that she shouldn't be hanging out with Fame. They're about to beat her up when Pong arrives to rescue her. However, the girls also band together to beat Pong. Mink finally admits her feelings for fame and expresses her jealousy of the other girls. Following this, the girls are about to beat Mink, but fame gets in the way and is injured. The group apologizes to fame before departing along with Mink. Pong also gives fame and Mei some space so they can talk. Mei reveals her secret to fame, but fame truly loves her and is ready to accept her. Fame then asks her to be his girlfriend. On the other hand, Pong approaches Mink who is depressed and sad. Pong consoles her by telling her that she is a fantastic person who genuinely cares about others. Mink values Pong because he still cares about her. Later, Mei tells Pong everything Fame said to her, but Pong isn't happy after listening to it. Mei also inquires about Pong and Mink, to which Pong responds that Mink liked his drawing but not him. Pong becomes emotional while speaking, but he encourages Mei to win the competition the next day. Pong stays at home on competition day because he believes his presence would not make a difference. He is unhappy that Mei will be dating Fame. He then returns to his study table and observes Mei's sketch. Pong tries to persuade himself that a girl like Mei deserves a boy like Fame rather than himself. But suddenly, he expresses his boredom with sketches and walks towards the school. The relay race begins at school, and Pong arrives beside Fame. Challenging Fame to the race, Pong competes in unofficial races with Fame. He also shows Mei his sketchbook, 
saying it's all about her. He also tells her not to win the race, because it will indicate that May and Fame are together. May, on the other hand, ignores him and wins the race. Pong is upset and is taken away by the teacher, who accuses him of embarrassing his entire group. Later, May approaches Fame to inform him that she cannot be his girl. Fame responds that he already understood during the race. He says that her electric current was caused by Pong rather than him. After that, Fame advises her to follow her heart. At the end ceremony, May meets Pong and tells him that he can show the sketchbook to her, even if he doesn't rush in the race, implying that she can accompany him. Finally, all of the students hold hands to celebrate the end of the ceremony. Pong also has May's hands in his. May is nervous, and as a result, she emits an electric current, electrocuting everyone. Pong expresses that the ranking no longer matters to him, but he is concerned about how to stay with an electroshock chick. And here, the movie comes to an end. For more unique and fascinating movies that you may not even have heard about, click on the videos on your screen. Also, do subscribe, like, and comment. Your one act will make a huge difference to us.